Hi there, the following video will introduce index notation using unit fractions. First of all, what's a unit fraction? Well in maths, unit, the word unit, generally means one. For example, the unitary, unitary method when doing probability, that's when you find the value or amount for one thing in order that you can find how much something is worth um, for five or six or ten things. So unit in maths generally means one. Okay, so what's a unit fraction? Well, two quarters is not a unit fraction, but one quarter is a unit fraction. So, a unit fraction must be a fraction where the numerator is equal to one. And the following examples, we're going to be working out what the answer is to a base number raised to a unit fraction where one is the numerator and the denominator is any number. What is the answer to these type of problems? Well, there's no way of deriving the answer here or thinking logically about it. It is simply a definition. A base number to the 1 over n is always equal to the nth root of that number. So, for example, 100 to the power of a half. That's equal to the second root of 100, the square root of 100, that is, which is 10. Let's pick another one, something like 27 to the third. Well, that's equal to the cube root of 27. What number multiplies by itself three times to get 27? Well, 3 does, because 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. So in general, a to the power of 1 over n is the nth root of that base number a. OK, let's do some examples. Here we go. 9 to the power of 1 over 2. Well, that is the second root of 9, the square root of 9, which is simply 3. 36 to the 1 over 2 is the second root of 36, the square root of 36, that is, which is simply 6 because 6 times 6 is 36. 64 to the half, again, the square root of 64. What number multiplies by itself twice to get 64? Well, the answer is 8. Now, 64 to the 1 over 3. This is equal to the cube root of 64. You need to ask yourself, what number multiplies by itself three times to get 64? The answer, with some thought, must be 4 because 4 times 4 is 16, times another 4 is 64. 27 to the 1 over 3, well that's equal to the cube root of 27. What number multiplies by itself 3 times to get 27? Well the answer is 3, because 3 times 3 is 9, times another 3 is 27. Now if you look at examples 6 to 10, you'll see they're very similar to examples 1 to 5, except that in each case, I've got a negative unit fraction, a negative unit fraction. Now, you'll remember from my last video that any number to the power of a negative n, let's say, is equal to 1 over that base number to the power of positive n. So, 9 to the minus half must equal 1 over 9 to the power of a half. Well, what is 9 to the power of a half? We've done it in example 1. It's 3. So the answer to this must be 1 over 3. 36 to the minus half, 1 over 36 to the half, which from example 2 is equal to 6. So this is 1 over 6. In a similar way, and we can spot the pattern happening here, 64 to the minus half must be 1 over 64 to the half, which we found out from example 3 is 8. 64 to the minus third must be 1 over 64 to the third, which we found out is equal to 4. So the answer is a quarter. And the last one, 27 to the minus third, must be equal to 1 over 27 to the power of a third, which we found is equal to 3. So the answer for the last one is 1 over 3. If you ever get a unit fraction with a negative, I'd work out the index notation to the positive power and then at the end, simply do 1 divided by that answer you got. Thank you for your time.